Hi, I'm Dr. Becky Tell. Um, I am an ophthalmologist here at Mississippi State. I went to Mississippi State for undergrad and for vet school. And then I did a rotating internship at the University of Tennessee. And then a three year residency at the University of Wisconsin and rejoined the faculty in 2019. So when we have a case that is interesting or not very common, then we usually go to the computer and we do what we call a literature search, um, which is where we try to go look at any research that's been done about that topic um, and see if we can find any information um, to try to make further recommendations about that condition or look for different diseases that we may not have thought about. So it's part of what we do, which is evidence-based medicine, trying to look for evidence and then apply it to the case. I'm Dr. Caroline Betbees. I'm an ophthalmologist at the College of Veterinary Medicine. I have been working here as an ophthalmologist since 2013, but I also was a student at the MSU CVM and I graduated in 2002. So if you draw, um, draw them at like two nails, mm -hmm. and um, then we'll just do our blocks like we normally do. We are about to do a staining keratectomy on this mare um, that came in with a non-healing corneal ulcer. Um, this surgery is just to remove the piece of the cornea that's causing the problem um, and allow for proper healing. So um, if there's any infection there or anything like that, we'll also be removing that. conjunctiva with carbocaine, which is a local anesthetic, just to give her a little bit more pain relief. We've already given a topical anesthetic, so that way we can do this surgery with her awake, but she won't feel anything. this ulcer um, so that's what we took the little pieces to turn in um, and then taking that piece off should help it try to heal better um, over a healthy cornea and then we're going to put a tube under the eyelid that can administer medication so we'll put it up under the eyelid and run it back through her mane and then when medicines are given for the eye, they can put them in at the withers and then it can push the medicine up towards the eye so that we don't have to approach her and try to give it right in the eye. And that's a lot easier for horses.
Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Sire. Um, I am the second year ophthalmology resident. Um, I did my um, rotating internship at a Blue Pearl um, outside of Nashville in Franklin, Tennessee. Um, I then came here for a specialty internship in ophthalmology and I stayed on as a resident. Um, I did my vet school at St. George's University and I did my clinical year training at Auburn. This is Sandy. She's our 10-year-old female sweet eagle. Um, she's here for a corneal ulcer of the left eye. Um, as you can tell, she's got um, some uh, definitely disease of that left eye. Um, her ulcer is deep in that eye, so we're going to do a conjunctival graft surgery on her. Um, so she's going to get ready for surgery, and then we'll start this afternoon, um, and then we'll see how she does with surgery, and hopefully she can go home soon. She is induced, um, getting ready to go to surgery, um, and Asia, our ophthalmic technician, is getting ready to prepare her eye for surgery. So she's going to clean it really well so that um, we have a sterile field for surgery. You did good, kid. Thanks, girl. You're getting fat. All right, so we are waiting for her to move to ICU, and then she will be in her recovery phase. Um, we will make sure she has an e collar on, and we're going to give her some medications um, in her eye and orally. And then as long as she's comfortable tomorrow and her eye is looking good, then she should be able to go home.